Hey, I'm Al Corlin. Thanks very much for joining me. Doing some more video up here at the Cambridge House Investment Conference. I am chatting right now with a guy who I've known for what's it been? 10 years maybe? At least. George, George yeah. Brown. George is a very, very interesting, interesting individual. Uh, I met George when we were doing some work for his his last, I guess I would say, employer, which was a company called Corner Base Silver. Uh, George was the accountant basically in charge of the company, so we were doing a a registration for the company, so I did a lot of interfacing with George there. George went on and started his own company, Macmillan Gold, and he's got a new company right now that I have to say in the interest of full disclosure, I am not invested in this company and they're not a sponsor on our website. So what you, if I think this thing stinks, I'm going to tell you so. And if I don't think it stinks, I'm going to tell you that too, but don't take it as investment advice because it's not, I'm not a registered investment advisor. George, always a pleasure. Always Talk to me to about Cache Exploration, man. Cache is a very new company. We're 10 months old. We've been listed on a TSX Venture since March 1st, 2010. Uh, in our first less than a year, we've acquired four rare earth projects, two in Newfoundland and two in New Brunswick. We've already done uh, $400,000 of work on them. Uh, we've advanced them to drill target stage. As we speak, we're completing a seven-hole uh, phase one drill campaign at our Wellsford Rare Earth. Uh, the seventh hole is expected to be finished today or tomorrow. Mm -hmm. uh, we did six holes starting in December, and I don't know what you know about rare earths, but we have uh, applet dikes that appear at surface, and what we've done is do five, sh six shallow holes to try to determine what direction they're coming from, because there's a source somewhere at depth. And uh, at the end of the six hole campaign, we decided to go ahead at a seventh hole that's being done right now, that we're going down 300 meters straight down to take our, our, our shot at it. Thousand feet. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Now there's no guarantees, obviously, in our business. Uh, I just spent the last two days at the Rare Earth uh, Symposium here in Cambridge, and I compared our project to many others. And what I really like is our logistics. We're in New Brunswick. We're on paved roads, high power line, and right on the St. John's River. We've got excellent shipping facilities for anything, like if we ever get to the concentrate stage, the power is there, it's populated area. Uh, the only, and there's no other companies in this play because we staked all of it. The only thing we don't have is underneath the military base at Gagetown, which nobody's going to get. Nobody's going down there. <laughs> How'd you find this asset? Um, our, our technical directors are Reg Olson of Edmonton, who has been a uh, consultant to the mining industry for many, many decades, very well respected. And our rare earth specialist is Dr. David Lenz. He's the economic chair at the uh, School of Geology at UNB in the Maritimes. So, and he consults to all the rare earth companies in North America, especially Canada. So wow. he is one of the known rare earth specialists. He's on our board and he's the person telling us which projects we should be looking at how to do our work. All our summer work was done by UNB students. So. You know, I have to tell you, as, as our listeners are aware, I am very, very bullish on rare elements. And, and the reason I, I am, number one, is because of the situation vis-a-vis -vis mainland China. Okay, I mean, 97% of them, of the REEs, come from mainland China right now. Yep. Uh, that has to change. It simply yep. has to change. I mean, look, I, Look at the look at the size of the bat that they have when it comes to that particular supply stream. It just it's uh, it's a little scary because they basically right now control yeah. it. Okay. Yeah. Well, at the symposium, they're pretty clear that they feel that with all the new uses for errors coming out in the high tech and in the environmental applications, the hybrid vehicles, the the, the uh, wind generating uses that even China will become an importer of rare earths in the near future. Oh, and yeah, that, I mean, with the demand, with the internal demand that they have, I talked about this earlier today with some, some of your colleagues, and with the internal amount of demand that they have, yeah, they're, they're yeah. going to have to import, there's no question yeah. about that. It's, uh, I personally think that because of the strategic importance of these particular assets, I think it's a great sector to be involved in, I really yeah. do. We, yeah. we think they're the minerals of the future. Tell me about your cash situation. We, uh, for a 10-month-old company, this drilling program is exciting because it's the first time we, it's our first drilling ever, and it's seven holes that we expect to have out by the PDAC, first week right. of March. Right. Uh, we have 1.2 million of flow-through raised at the end of November. That is our 2011 spending. 
So we're funded for all of our exploration for this year. And uh, from our original financing in December 09, those warrants were exercised in December 2010. We have 400,000 uh, hard dollars. So, so we have, for, you, so we have 1.6 million and a small. Say, you, got, you got over, over a million and a half yeah, bucks. So there's that only, will carry sorry. you through 2011. Uh, our 2011 is all taken care of. Our, I priced our warrants at 40 on the 35 cent flow through. So I expect that money to be in for another 1.7 million the following year. So we, you know, and you know that we are fairly frugal in the way we operate. So um, a million six in our hands is going a long way. Interesting thing in New Brunswick, we've drilled two projects. The New Brunswick government gave us 50% of the first 80,000 on the wells for drilling, and they're giving us 50% of the first 90,000 on our long lake drilling. That's like $200,000 of drilling we've gotten for $120,000. So you guys are in great shape. We're in great shape. If you want to get more information on Cache, uh, here's how I would suggest you get it. Go to their website, which is? CacheExploration.com. And we're going to put that graphically underneath this video. Again, don't construe this as investment advice because it's not. I am not a registered investment advisor, neither is George. Uh, I also want to say that I have no financial interest in the company. That's not to say that it won't change. When I decide to buy some shares in this company, I, you will be the first to know prior to that fact. Thanks for watching.